today we're going to go from this to our new one because it's a bit oh, here it is hey everyone welcome to for car sake the other day i was on ebay thinking maybe i'll update my ek civic and as i saw one of these for about 250 dollars i thought hey that looks pretty cool it'll make the car look a lot more modern so here i am purchased one of these and now i get to show you guys what i had to do to fit this into my ek if you want to skip ahead just refer to the chapters and you'll find where I'm taking the parts off or installing it, etc. Thank you, hope you like it. And while we work on all this, see all those scratches, all the damage. Not sure what happened to it in the past. And this whole thing, Fluff Lock has snapped as well. So, have a spare one I'm gonna stick on today. It's gonna make the car so much better on top of the new head unit as well. Okay, this should come off now. Yes. Okay. Okay. Should be just the four screws. There you go. Four screws on. This should just pop on. There we go. Now is the trickier part. In order to take this fascia off, you need to remove these two. There are two screws down there. And then under here. I'm not sure if you got that one here, right there. That will need to be taken off as well. There we go. It's 
scuffed up the hazard switch a little bit unfortunately and deep inside these two pockets are two screws best to have a uh, screwdriver with a magnetic tip there we go second one huh interesting that one is missing With the Kenwood ones, you'll find four little spots if you just push your finger down. That's basically how the easiest way i found to take that out. And let me just grab the two keys. Stick them in right in the middle after you've got it in push downwards or upwards so this hooks on so this little to tooth will hook on to this and obviously maintain pressure towards the middle while pulling and it should just come out like this nice and easy Just unplug those two. Cool. All right, this should be the moment. Just a quick reminder to remove this as well. Otherwise, when you pull it out, it's just gonna shoot right out. And good luck trying to find it. Okay. Double check one more time. There it is. The clock. I still have a cable attached. Keep an eye out for that massive lump of cable. Huh. Interesting. Not sure what this is for. Someone has uh, obviously taken this out before. And and for whatever reason, they installed this. Hmm. Anyways. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is take off the AC controller to make it easier for us to maneuver this piece. Four screws on the back. Pretty simple. Put it aside. Next thing we're going to do is take off these air vents of this fascia to reuse them on this new one. And to do that, we're going to apply a bit of heat to make sure the glue comes apart, make it a bit easier to come off. Also needs to be pried off, just right there. But otherwise, it should be pretty simple.
over here one of the piece inside still snapped in so I'm gonna have to somehow get rid of it otherwise it's not going to not going to fit into the new piece I'm gonna put a uh, Dremel through through it so then it'll go nicely on this little edge later on for the time being let's crack on with the uh, second one Perfect. Once again, there's a little bit here this time as well. Let's see if I can get rid of it. And if your vent fell out like mine, it's pretty simple. You just look at the curve, follow the curve as sure. Follow the curvature of the event. Make sure you stick this little hook into this little fork. Getting ready to clean this up a little bit and make sure guys use eye protection. Let's give it a quick test fit. Yeah. That one should be fine. corner looks like it'll be fine as well so now let's apply some glue into those cavities to help secure it
Alright, after a bit of finessing, this one finally clicked in as well. But the problem is, because of these, it's actually pulling the back of it. You know what? I'm just going to use a book to hold it in place overnight. And in the morning, I'll check it, check it again, make sure it's all good to go. And then we'll look at installing it into the car. While we do that, there are also some little things that we need to transfer over with this piece. These little clips are actually missing. So we need to take them from this original one and transfer them over. So make sure you don't chuck this away just yet. And another thing is around the trim, there's actually some of these um, felt around here all the way around as well. This little clip, make sure you grab that too on both sides. With the help of a simple flathead screwdriver and some pliers, you're going to end up with all these pieces. One thing is this little one on the side, you're going to have to take off the clock before you take it out. Just a simple flathead screwdriver and you should be able to get it out no problem. So before these go missing, let's fit them on. So here's our new replacement and uh, I'm getting quite excited and the uh, fantastic thing about it is just it's so much smaller and the good news obviously is because of the head aftermarket unit we already have this so there's a bit less wiring for me this cable that's for the clock we can just tuck it away because we are no longer going to have that okay and just need to wire up some of the USB and some of the other stuff which this head unit has I mean I'm just amazed it's literally like a tablet this thing that's all it is and it's so little it takes up so little space all right so I am going to install the GPS I'll also be installing the two USB plugs sure I feed the antenna through properly okay let's do the antenna last because it's a bit oh shit. Alright, 
so what just happened was I was holding the the entire vent by the AC which I glued on yesterday and the glue hasn't completely dried off as a result it just snapped off so make sure guys when you guys are doing it don't hold it by the AC vent and you should be just fine all right so there are those I'm going to put the two USBs through this hole the most direct path to the fluff box that's it and finally the antenna can go in all right as you guys saw how I failed holding on le leverage leveraging off that that FN so now I need to make sure I don't do that again and obviously you see you see the zip tie it's only on there temporarily and one more thing guys this little um, vent open and close lever in the middle if you don't don't leave it in the middle it's gonna get caught up and yeah, you're never gonna push it in and even if you do you're gonna have to pull it out again okay so that part is done let's see if it works okay moment of truth there we go Android hey all right so the key thing is it's on right now and I've got all the apps as well I'll sort that out and do another review down the track but there's Play Store and to be honest it's literally like a um, Android tablet so let's get the rest of it installed and we'll check out the, the head unit later okay let's start putting the uh, pieces back together one two three Now let's see how this piece, the AC, actually fits into here. Alright everyone, so this is my solution to the AC controller relocation. So you can see what I've done, cutting off the top part. And with the lower half, I've removed those angles to help support this. And not only that, where the this um, curve is, I've carved into slots as well on both sides, identical. And the reason for that is I want to try and maximize everything that is standard on here. So the first slot, you can see, goes into that little pin goes in on both sides and then to better support it the little screw will actually go in there to hold it as well and when this thing is on the frame two more screws will come in from this area going straight into the metal frame pinching onto here so it should be nice and tight Here's a closer look, what kind of trimming has been done. So obviously the big hole here. Um, unfortunately, I've cut too much, as you would have seen. Up here, it's cut as well. Over here, it's all trimmed. It's all been pushed in. 
um, down here basically the whole thing has been trimmed in half including all the supports as well as uh, those two screw, screw holes at the back here has been trimmed off here it is screwed on it's screwed on and held on by itself it's not um, probably not the best work that I've done if I get to do it again I reckon I'll definitely do a better job especially this bottom piece here as you can see there's a bit of a gap there definitely took a bit too much also over there definitely took a little bit too much uh, material out but yeah if I get the, the opportunity to do it again I reckon I'll still do it the same way but it'll just be a lot better next time when this goes onto the frame this whole thing is going to get pinched between the between the plastic and the metal frame as well securing this even further um, unfortunately with these brackets I will be ditching them as um, yeah I'm gonna have to if I want to use them it's not impossible but it's gonna require significant modification and it's not really going to bring much uh, benefit to, to supporting it anyways so there you go this is one of those times where it's like moment of truth so I've had to push the SRS cable to the side a bit, actually let me show you. I've had to push that SRS side air back a bit. Good thing now is there's quite a bit of space up top here, so just try and tuck the, the AC controller cables up a little bit and push it in. The blue cable just goes there. I've, be, I've seen um, people have to, to cut the cable, so I'll see whether or not that uh, that applicable to me too but let's uh, fit it in because not sure if you guys remember but because of how I've done it there is a bit of space so it's gonna fit but the biggest question is whether or not it clears the gearbox trim when we fit that on as well. I'm just keeping in mind that because there is the extra thickness in between, I'm not over tightening both the upper and lower screw because um, otherwise it's probably just going to snap the whole thing in half because uh, it's leveraging off the middle and it might just yeah break as a result yeah all right Check that out. Seems to fit just fine. The fit and finish on this is pretty good. Obviously on this side, uh, because of my muck-up, I have to redo the gluing, but yeah, the side, the fitment is pretty good, screen is pretty nice, I haven't installed, kind of wish I did do a uh, reversing camera, but 
Oh, well, maybe for another time. Ended up not cutting the cable. It does stick out a little bit. If it ends up annoying me, I'll probably end up cu cutting it and making it shorter. But for the time being, I'm pretty happy. Over here as well, I've got the two USBs coming out of there. The fit overall with this relocation is all right. I might make some changes further down the track, but overall I am pretty happy. This trim went in no problem. I haven't had to make any adjustments and it fits onto the back perfectly, no problem as well. All the screws are in. Um, so yeah, overall really happy with this little upgrade. Learn a few lessons, but yeah. And I'll catch you on the next one.